Uh, played well. We played uh, very well on Friday, um, especially a little adversity again. Three guys out that play a lot of minutes for us, and uh, I think the guys stepped up, played hard in a tough environment. Uh, Bobby does a good job with that team, and it's a great, great small venue that uh, gets pretty, pretty intimidating and exciting. So our, our guys did a nice job. And on the other side, you did get two guys back from long-term injuries as well. Uh, what's sort of your situation with, uh, with that overall, and what's, what's nice to get those guys back? Well, it's nice to get Sammy in there, uh, certainly, to get him going. And uh, I think he played pretty well on Friday. Um, and then Saturday, it looked like it caught up to him a little bit. Not that he played uh, poorly by any means, but uh, you know, to be expected uh, to be out that many games and play back-to-back nights. Um, you talk about Sam. Coach is cliche after Christmas. They're not freshmen anymore, but he missed some games. Is he still a freshman in your mind? Uh, yeah, I think there's going to be some growing pains there, I think, with Sammy. I think with Grex. You know, th- those guys missed basically the whole year. And even with Crow being out as much as he has, I mean, you feel bad for a kid going into a senior year and being out basically the whole first half. Healthy you doing, Crow? He's good. He's back. He'll be back playing. Uh, I think he's been cleared by the, the medical staff that uh, he could go full go yesterday and today. And uh, we're just kind of waiting word on is he 100% clear. Them coming back into the fold, how does that shift lineups? How does that to get them back in, to get them the ice time, to, to get them back where the team is now? These guys are going to come back in and try and integrate back into a team system. Well, I think the first thing you saw right away in the last two days in practice probably been uh, um, the, the two most competitive practices that we've had. And uh, we've been competitive all year. We don't have to raise our voices in practice. The kids do, a, they do the work. Uh, but it went to a different level the last two days. All of a sudden, players are counting numbers and they understand they're competing. It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, it could be a Ryan Dezingle. It could be a Nick Odo who's come back from injury. It doesn't matter. And they're all pushing each other. A guy that's kind of putting some points on the board is uh, Alex Shahur right now. Uh, and he's been, been a plus as well. I mean, he, he's a guy that is been up and down over the past couple of years. It's nice to get him kind of yeah, I think what's nice is that uh, you know Al's Al, and you're not gonna you're not gonna take who he is and what his body type is gonna be and change it. Al is you know quietly gone about his business. He's got to continue to find a way to get a little bit stronger, a little bit quicker, um, and that's gonna come with some more maturity. Um, but the best thing that's happened is he fought his way back in the lineup, and we had him in spots of you know a fifth, fourth, fifth line. Uh, setting and then we switched it saying well he's an offensive productive guy and let's put him with some offensive uh, players and offensive minded players and he's responded pretty well to that. Are you still relying too much on Brady to get results for you? Well I mean everyone and we said this right away if you look at the score sheet people are going to say oh it must have been Brady it must have been Brady it wasn't Brady uh, on, on Friday night there uh, Ferris does a good job putting pucks on net from everywhere over the over the red line. And uh, Brady had to stay, stand tall when, he, when we needed him to, but he wasn't overly worked. And then on Saturday, he had to play well in the first period, the second, third period. We, we had uh, a good, good two periods. We just didn't find a way to score. But I don't think we're relying on Brady. And certainly, uh, our kids have played extremely well in front of him. Um, but when it comes time to rely on him, he's right there and makes a save. Uh, what's your? Do you have a, a plan for the goal center situation this weekend? Uh, Brady will go on Friday, and we'll <laughs> go from there. I, I think that he's earned that right, and uh, I think everybody understands that. And um, you know, he's earned that opportunity to go and keep on going until he says he can't go. Our next one, the weekly captain's question. Uh, we're sticking with uh, the three guys that we've had. Um, we're getting closer to. to Potentially naming permanent captains, um, but we're going to stick with uh, those three guys. They've done a nice job. I think they've earned that right. 